Do you think my cat doesn't know that I know he's in my light box? <laughs> we are doing some Happy Fourth of July nails. Yay! So, we are going to go in with several Maniology polishes and create a cute little striped and starred design. I just want to give this disclaimer. I'm aware that the stripes on the flag are red and the stars are blue. I reversed it. It's artist discretion. I know. <laughs> This is a beautiful gold, by the way. If you haven't tried that one out, you should definitely check it out. I am going to use two coats of BAM White as a base coat. Normally, you can get away with one coat on this, but I do have ridges in my nails. Uh, and a lot of times, that makes a single coat application kind of difficult, even with a stamp and polish. So I just wanted to give you a heads up for that. If you don't have a bunch of ridges in your nails, you could probably get away with one coat for this Manny. So, Music Geek incoming at around the 2 minute and 3 second mark, the best piccolo solo in a march is coming up. I used to play piccolo. I loved this. This is one of my favorite things to play, Stars and Stripes. We're going to use some Queen Latex Peel Off just to keep the cuticle area neat and clean, or as neat and clean as possible. And I'm going to grab this Winstonia plate first to do the stripes for the flag on my nails. Again, I know this color is not correct. I did it on purpose. I have my reasons. That's all I'm saying. These uh, plates from Winstonia stamp very well. Um, I know you can find them on Amazon. If you haven't tried them before, uh, the little shorter round ones, I just want to give you a heads up, they are not very big images. So if you have super wide nails or very long nails, they may not be for you. But they are cute if you have short nails. And right now I'm rocking the shorties. And I'm enjoying playing with some of these plates I haven't played with too much. Piccolo. Turn it up and listen. I'm going to stamp some red stars here on the middle finger. And on the last finger we are going to do some gold stars. And I switched that over to the Queen. What is that? Queen 44 plate. These are also very good if you have not tried them out. Again, you do have to be careful with some of the images. They can be a little, uh, like if you have really wide nails, it may not cover all the way. Like these don't cover my thumb at all. <laughs> it leaves a gap on both sides. But that is an easy way to trick it. If you just stamp it in the middle, um, it doesn't look so bad. Like most people don't notice that it doesn't go all the way across if you stamp it in the middle and stamp it well. More pickle. So I am going to go through and use my Sally Hansen Insta Dry Top Coat or Dries Instantly Top Coat. Do be careful with Cherry Bomb. I noticed it tried to smear a little bit. It didn't, but it tried. It thought about it. It thought about it. This is what everything looks like with the shiny top coat on, but we're not done yet. We're not done because we have a matte top coat. I don't know. There's just something about matte on white that I really, really like. So here is what it looks like after the matte top coat. I really hope you enjoyed that. I hope you guys have a great, happy 4th of July weekend. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you watching. Click in the upper right hand corner if you want to see some more nail art. Thank you. Bye bye.